Sticks and stones may break my bones. But honestly, small talk and cute rhymes aside, you screwed me over. I remember it all as if it were yesterday. The fights, the screams, the holes through the wall, the phone calls to home pleading to my parents to help me escape, and all the nights I spent crying on my left side, looking out that window of yours in the hopes of a better future. And I would wake up the next morning acting as if nothing ever happened. And I'd pour myself some Fruit Loops and attempts to drown my sorrow in sugary cereal. I'll have you know that now I only sleep on my right side and I haven't touched Fruit Loops since. But to be frank, I'm fed up with letting it affect me anymore. I've spent so much time silently sitting here and patiently waiting for the day that I would finally speak my mind. But I can no longer allow you to take my fragility and vulnerability as approval to let yourself into my life yet again. I must learn to coexist with you without you hurting my heart. So, after two years, I mustered up the courage to delete your number. I stopped texting you and declined when you called. I emptied out our memory box and burned all the memorabilia. And I think after that, I'm finally starting to make peace with myself. I need you to know how much better off I am without you. I don't miss you. Not a bit. But I hope you miss me. And I hope you regret every single mistake you made. Dear Trauma, you have no hold over me anymore.